So we currently live in a world where you or likely someone you know is impacted by medical debt. Yeah, a study by the Kaiser Family Foundation last March found four in 10 adults nationwide currently have debt due to medical or dental bills. Half of those with debt owe more than $2,500, while 12% owe more than $10,000. And right now, Colorado state lawmakers are working to help those who are struggling with long-term debt. Here's Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez. It's a debt almost everyone will face at one point or another in their lives. Medically incurred debt is a shockingly common phenomena in our country and is the number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States. Right now, Coloradans owe more than $1.3 billion in medical debt. More than 66% of all bankruptcies in the U.S. were tied to medical costs. For the past few years, lawmakers at the Colorado Capitol have been taking steps to offer more patient protections. This year is no different. Senate Bill 9 93 does four things. First, it aims to cap interest on medical debt. The policy we're proposing caps the medical debt interest rate at 3%, which will give folks an opportunity to get their arms around debt they may incur without seeing the bill skyrocket out of control. It would also offer more price transparency, pause collection on bills that are being appealed by the patient, and give the Attorney General's office more tools to prosecute predatory practices. We have to protect people, protect families who are facing a crushing burden where they feel they may never get out from under it. A bill that might have helped patients like Sharon Kravitz, who faced an aggressive form of breast cancer in 2018. I was worn out physically, I was worn out emotionally, I, I, there were a lot of bills, it was confusing, I just wanted to be done. Most she paid for from her savings, but there was this one odd medical bill from a group she didn't know. I received a strange bill that said that for almost $2,000, every month I continue to get this bill almost a year later I received a letter from a debt collection agency. They threatened to ruin her credit. State lawmakers and the attorney general hope this legislation will protect people like Sharon. So far, only the EMS Association opposes the bill, saying emergency services should be exempted because they don't have time to calculate costs when responding to a 911 call and they have to be able to pay for their operations. Bill sponsors say they're working to address those concerns, but their bottom line... It's time we take bold action and protect patients and make sure that every single Coloradan can afford the care they need. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.